Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. K360 Radio. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to another J360 Mini Bites. Here for episode 12, hosted by J.M. Brady. And I am your host, J.M. Brady. <laughs> so how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Eh, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, well, hey, currently recovering from a massive head cold mixed with allergies. But it won't stop me from going ahead and doing another episode of the Mini Bites for you all. And this time we're going to talk about Avengers... And Avatar, a tale of two egos, because you see, which movie within the billion bracket is going to beat the other movie, which is in the billions bracket? Well, I'll tell you one thing, Avatar remains king, because see, that extra 18 million for Avengers to go ahead and take top spot just wasn't going to happen, and I don't care even if you try to re-release this movie with uh, two post-credit scenes and one was just a complete waste of time. Letting you know that the, the the Hulk is still a hero regardless of <laughs> five years of the Avengers broken up again. Or not broken up, but uh, crestfallen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y- y- you know something, people? It's, it's very interesting how, you know, we champion things. You see, when Avatar came out, Avatar was a pretty much a a boom in filmmaking to a point. It showed you how great motion capture and CG has grown over the years. And it gave you an interesting take on the whole Pocahontas story in a sci-fi setting. I mean, the land of Pandora was very beautiful to look at. And not to mention what the people go through, you know, from the Navi into the, um, of course, invasive military that had taken place there. It was, it was very awesome. Like, not a bad movie at all. But, you see... Avatar had that way, and James Cameron had that much influence where it could be re-released multiple times throughout the whole year. And it also had different formats in its multi-release. I think one time they did it with 3D. 3D was the first one, right? And then later on it became 4K or... No, no, no. It became um, IMAX and then 4K or something. Either way, it got released multiple times in different formats. Pretty much the same movie, and people were like... Well, you know, I didn't catch it the first time. Uh, maybe this is my time to see it. Oh, uh, you know, I, I didn't bother seeing it at that time. Uh, yeah, let me go see this. And then, of course, you got the fans that are all about this stuff. And they're like, hey, let's just see it anytime we want to. I mean, the same can be said about Avengers fans, too. But, see, James Cameron said something about superhero films not reaching that pinnacle, right? And then, eventually, he recanted his whole thing by saying... The Avengers might be the ones that actually take the top spot from him. They already beat out Titanic with um, one of their movies, right? So, it's like, hmm. So, while this is all going on and how people will velmingly defend the Avengers films, no matter how corny they could be from time to time, or no matter how people are just like, oh, not my MCU, you take it back. And it's like, yeah, no. They're great movies, don't get me wrong, but they're not the pinnacle of filmmaking. I mean, they achieved one thing that was never done before with all the films leading up to a culmination point. Especially after a 22-film arc. Everybody was going to go see Endgame anyway. No matter what. And let me be honest with you. I don't think... Was Avatar as long as Endgame was in terms of uh, three hours? I don't think it was. But, you see, when you guys see something like Avengers Endgame, that really lived up to its title. It's, it's kind of like when you look at The Lord of the Rings Return of the King. You know, you're, you're going to be sitting there for about three hours because this is a wrap-up. This isn't something that you just sweep under the rug and despite as many plot holes that there can be, that you go ahead and you say, yeah, you know what, I experienced this and this is all I get. No. When you see something like that, it is an epic event. Okay? And 
you know, for a lot of people who didn't go see it the first time, this was a good chance for them to go ahead and experience it. But quite a lot of people are seeing this because, you know, they want to help Fiji beat that record. You know what I'm saying? And it just didn't happen. Not even the two two scenes that were promised to you could save up to that. I mean, and not only that, but see, we were all getting psyched about going to uh, going to see this movie anyway. Because it got pushed up to April, remember? Remember when everybody was like, yeah, yeah, it's finally that time. We are going to go ahead and see this movie. And we achieved it. You know, Achievement Unlocked. We all did go see this movie. And of course you got those people who are lucky enough to go see it the first time. Or get invited to premiere because they went to go see Infinity War 50 times. Yeah, isn't it amazing how they just do that kind of stuff? But usually it's somebody that lives close to the area to go see that. Uh, you know, I have my problems with these kind of things, but, you know, I'm not going to go ahead and talk about that now. But, you see, it's even funnier considering that both of these properties are owned by Disney now. So, it is kind of a little in joke. It, it was something to have fun with. But, you see, here's the thing. The Avengers had their moment. We all know what happened to Tony at the end of that. Even though there were some people out there that were trying to get a petition together to say, you know, uh, we, we don't like Tony dying. And it's like, yeah, get the hell over yourself. He's kaput in the movie. If you really want to keep Tony alive, play the video games or read a comic. You know what I'm saying? But, you see, the thing is, is that Endgame made about two, made about $2.76 billion, right? And you see Avatar made about two point seventy eight billion, so that's that's close. But these are billions. These are not like, you know, you pay the toll and all that kind of stuff, you know, or you pay on somebody's beer tab. No, this 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 is stupid executive level money. Now I don't know what it is, but you see a lot of times where you have like a very successful property making these mon- this much money, chances are is that others are gonna try to follow suit. Which is like, you look over at Sunny Pictures or you look at over uh, Universal, they're still trying to find that Golden Goose, or Paramount, Paramount, yeah, especially Paramount. They're trying to find this Golden Goose to get them up there to that level and by any means necessary, instead of just trying to, you know, find something to build or go ahead and just say, hey, let's, let's do something a little different than established franchises, you know, and have them compete against each other. Let's just go ahead and just build something to make our own so that we can get to that level. Oh, hell no, because that's work. If you actually take the time to go ahead and try to milk something for all it's worth, I guess you might still have a stagnant point here that's slowly like a death kneel. But, you know, and that's just another tangent I have with the movie-making industry. But going back to, like, this whole thing with Avengers, I mean, everybody saw this movie. You had to have. And if you didn't, chances are you probably heard it from somebody you know. Looking at this, I mean, it's just a sign of, okay, how is this cut any different than the last cut we saw? And you already know the home release is coming in August. As a matter of fact, I think the first week of August is when it's going to be on streaming, right? So, no, 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 you could buy it online. So it's like, at the end of the day, people knew this was coming. Even when Avatar had their home release coming out, it's like you know, they were going to go ahead and re-release it a bunch of times for those who actually cared to see that film. But if you went and sat through this three-hour epic, chances are, are you going to really go and see it again? Out of the comfort of your own home at this point? You know what I'm saying? You knew it was all about ego and boosting and all this other stuff anyway. The movie was going to make its money. It's just, it's just interesting how a lot of us are duped into doing these things without seeing the underlying reason behind it. But of course, some, some of you did see it and were like, well, you know, I, I do want to see it a second time because I went to the bathroom door the first time. And, you know, I'm not going to knock your fandom for it. But what I'm going to say is, is that, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, oh, they didn't win. OK, fine. The thing is, it's in the number two spot. I don't think there's going to be any movies to touch this movie entirely yet, unless there's a culmination point. Maybe Godzilla vs. Kong might have a shot, but at the end of the day, a lot of people misread Godzilla King of the Monsters, so, you know, the list goes on from there. But it's like, just because they didn't win that, win the top spot, 
doesn't mean the movie was a failure. It doesn't mean that it's a disappointment. It doesn't mean that, you know, once again, it's like, this is Spider-Man's time. Let's just move forward and see what's next. It's a changing of the guard. I mean, from what I heard, there's going to be multiple Spider-Man movies because, you know, maybe he's going to bridge the whole universe together in a way. But I also know that there's going to be multiple Spider-Man movies anyway because they got the Sinister Six on lock right now. I mean, it's, it's going to be pretty interesting, I would say. But it's just like, to me, it's just like, uh, once again... Just because they're not making that extra money to get them across that finish line doesn't mean that, you know, the, the movie was bad. Doesn't mean that the movie was a loss, despite how many problems that a lot of us have with it because of the time travel aspect in it. And then there's some questionable things that went on in that movie that I have problems with. It's like, you know, I enjoyed my time for there. For what they got right, they did a great job. But I'm not going to pay them you know, $15 for me to sit there and watch a three-hour epic again that I already know everything about. Not for two extra scenes. Nope. Had its time. Gonna go watch Spider-Man. And then, of course, you know that money is gonna accumulate over at the Spider-Man movie anyway because the wealth of the character and not to mention that it's all gonna go into Disney's back pocket anyway. So, you, you see the joke on all this, right? But at the end of the day, though, I wonder what's going to happen with Avatar 2 and 3. And maybe 4, because I heard there's supposed to be a fourth one uh, looming around somewhere. But then again, Avatar 2 is supposed to come out this year, right? So, yeah, what, what the hell happened with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really, what the hell did happen with that? Da damn. <laughs> you know, it, it makes you think from time to time. But, hey, I hope that it's a good story, and I hope that, um, once again, you know, we find something to enjoy ourselves instead of just finding, taking something that we enjoy in order to line executive pockets, in order to give somebody bragging rights, in order to, you know, once again, extenuate and extend an ego that should not be extended anyway. He's already got enough of my money. Hell, the mouse already has enough of my money. And I, and I should say that because, you know, I'm about to spend some more money on it again by not only seeing Spider-Man, but by seeing The Lion King and word of the uh, Little Mermaid movie that's coming, yeah. They got enough of my money on lock. But for re-releasing and trying to beat out other things so they can go ahead and have bragging rights saying, hey, you know what? Yeah, a Disney property has achieved this. Well... You already bought out 20th Century Fox, so I, I think it's a little redundant at this point. So, and a lot of y'all probably agree on this. And if you don't, cool. But I'm still going to stand by saying that. But, hey, I already talked your ear off enough. I got to get back to getting ready for J-Man Show episode 106. And, if God willing, we'll go ahead and work on J360 Radio Live number 5. Uh, this coming week, too. So, you all take it easy for now. This is the J-Man signing off. That was your mini bite. Peace. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. Ch -ch 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 -chumba. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Ch -ch 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 -chumba. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.